Hey, my name is Ivy and well, I'm like laughing in my intro. Hey, my name is Ivy and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are returning. I am so glad to have you here. Today we are doing this makeup look, which is all about sort of changing from spring into summer. It is Memorial Day weekend here. We are getting ready for the change of seasons and I wanted to do kind of like a hot heat, sultry inspired look and play with some, a couple newer things, a couple older things, and just kind of throw a look together and chat with you along the way. So if you are ready for a chatty get ready with me, then keep on watching and let's get ready together. All right, we are barefaced with the exception of my eyebrows and I put on Verdant Force Field Phytosurgeons. You guys know this is one of my holy grail moisturizing products. I use it, I still use it pretty much every single day. But something that I am trying out that is new-er to me is a new SPF, and that is this one by Innisfree. Daily Defense Sunscreen. It is Broad Spectrum SPF 36. A beautiful texture, a beautiful formula. It looks gorgeous under makeup, sinks into the skin flawlessly. Definitely gives you like a very nice dewy glow. Has no fragrance, just that like very, very light SPF scent, which I actually really like because it makes me think of the beach. Let you guys see how it rubs in. So you can see how quickly and easily that rubs in like a beautiful moisturizer and it it just feels so good to put on. Oh my gosh, I love it. I really do. Next, I'm going to try using, this is maybe my fifth time using it. I picked up, because I, I received a lovely gift card to Make Beauty, this. So this is the Make Beauty Diffusion Dew. Very much light coverage, very dewy exactly what it says on the bottle. I do really like the formula. I, I do think it looks very pretty on the skin. This paired with their concealer, which I've also been really enjoying, I think is a, is a lovely combination. I do tend to go in on top of those two things with a tiny bit of a thicker concealer just for spots that I wanna cover with a bit more veracity. <laughs> um, and as you can see, unfortunately on my chin right now and even coming up to my cheeks, I am having a bit of a spotty moment. I would say that if you have a lot that you're trying to cover, these Make Beauty products probably won't get you where you wanna be, but if you really enjoy light, dewy coverage, and then you wanna just use something a little bit thicker in spots where you might need it, like this is a really great combination. So I probably usually on average use, when I use this product, one and a half pumps to two pumps, depending on what I feel like my skin needs. But I just want you to see, I mean, you can see how radiant and glowy my skin is right now. And um, that's how I like it. I like to be able to customize the level of shine with powder and I don't really like to mattify my skin. The only time I really do go for generally like a matter or a soft matte look with my skin is when I want something that's gonna be more long wearing or if I'm gonna be taking photos, like if I was going to an event, those are the times when I would reach for something that's definitely more of a satin matte to matte coverage. But other than that, like on a day-to-day -day basis, I really do like glowier skin. So I'm starting with the Make Beauty Concealer under my eyes gonna do that just a little bit. This is, like I said, a very light concealer, very light coverage. I think the formula is beautiful. I think, <laughs> I don't wanna say this too early. I, I am enjoying the Diffusion Dew or, uh, yeah, the Diffusion Dew, I'm enjoying it. But if I had to choose a product to repurchase, I don't know that I would repurchase the Diffusion Dew, not because there's anything particularly like wrong with it. It's, it's a nice product, but I don't know. I'm kind of picky about my skin tints and I do feel like I like the finish that I've gotten from a, some other skin tints that I've tried. And there's also some skin tints that I want to try. The next time that I'm like in the market for a skin tint, I'll probably try something new. The concealer, however, I will definitely repurchase. Like, I just really like it for light coverage days. I am dewy. I am the dewiest right now. That's okay. I'm gonna go in a little bit on those spots that I mentioned where I just want like a little tiny bit more coverage. And I'm gonna use my Colfi Beauty Main Match Concealer. I have the shade Coco Crush. This is still a favorite concealer of mine since I got it. I 
This is another one that I think I would certainly repurchase. I love it. I The only reason that I'm not using it all over today is just because I wanted to show you how the Make Beauty Concealer and the Diffusion do pair together, but there are plenty of days where I just go all over with the Colfi concealer. I'm very interested in all of their products. I really am like, at some point I'm gonna pick up one of their eyeliners. They look beautiful. I just think that the, the brand vibe is really cool and really fun. I think that they're doing cool things. Coolfi, doing cool things. Okay, that is the level of coverage that I want. You may decide <laughs> you wanna do more coverage, totally fine. But for me, this is like a good amount of coverage. I am super duper dewy. I am going to take care of that. But before I add powder, I'm gonna go in with my trusted Makeup by Mario. So this one, I just wanna show you, look how, is that not such a sexy pan? Mm, I love it. And of course, not a surprise that I have such a big pan in it because I do use this pretty much every time I'm doing my makeup. Um, so it, it is getting used up. So I'm trying to use this up anyway because A, I like it and I like to apply it pretty much every time I do my makeup, but I also wanna make sure that I use it before it goes potentially off because it's quite a creamy soft formula. I'm a dewy goddess. Dewy goddess, look at that. But I mean, who needs highlighter when you literally have like your face is, looks like a waterfall but now it is time for some powder. I'm gonna use a combination of powders. I'm loving and still using, I got this as a gift. The, I just have to find my brush. This is the Pat McGrath um, under eye setting powder and I do really like it for under my eyes. This is my go-to powder. I also really like the one that came out from 1999 Beauty, they they were really lovely and sent me their setting powder that came out not too long ago. I think I have it on my desk here too. Yeah, this is the Color Stay setting powder. It comes in this cute little compact. That's a nice powder. That's a loose powder and this is a pressed powder. I find that I do, even though loose powders are really great, just because of messiness, I tend to like a pressed powder. I just find it to be <laughs> less messy. Like whenever I use that, 1999 beauty one it's beautiful on the face beautiful on the skin but it does kind of get everywhere no matter how hard i try it gets everywhere for the rest of my face i'm just going to do a very light layer of the the finishing powder infinity powder by hourglass this is in my hourglass ambient lighting edit so it's uh let's see it's this massive powder right here I think I've talked a little bit, I can't remember if I've talked about this on here or only on Instagram, but I think that their formulas are beautiful. I do think most of what they come out with is just the same things over and over again in the same shades over and over again. They need to get their act together and make them more accessible to a wider variety of skin tones. That is just full stop necessary, so. I don't tend to talk a lot about Hourglass as a brand because I'm just not happy with where they are in that capacity, but I also don't wanna not tell you what I'm using on my face. Where am I with my makeup? Where are we with my makeup? Okay, so I just did powder, brows, skin, bronzer. I guess we're ready for eyes. It's starting to get really beautiful and sunny and warm out. We had like a little bit of a cold snap here. We're now backtracking out of that into the beginnings of summer, like the end of spring, beginning of summer. I want to do something warm and a little bit sultry, um, inspired by the changing of the seasons. And I have a few shades that I've pulled out to bring that to life. So first I wanna use these two shades that I picked up from Ritual Defee. These are in their new components, the eye soots, and I got yeah, the Ash and Ember eye soots. I got two of the shades. One is called Half Light. So it's this like very natural kind of shadowy, taupey color. It's really, really pretty. It has a very, very, very subtle shimmer running through it. And then I also got the shade Viscera, which I'd had my eyes on for a long time. So this is Viscera. It's just such a like super sexy, again, very subtle shimmery red. And I just thought the tone of this is so beautiful. These are in their new components, which are glass and they have a much wider opening for where you can dip your finger or your brush. It's still like, it's. this is much easier to dip a finger in. You couldn't do that with their old components. I don't know if I still have, oh wait, I do, hold on. 
let me show you. So this is their older component, has their old logo on it. These are actually plastic, even though they look glass. Like I said, the new components are glass jars. Nice little upgrade there. The openings for these are <laughs> sucky. <laughs> like this is just not, it's not meant to be used with a finger. Getting a brush in there is also kind of a pain in the butt. At a certain point, it almost didn't matter what the formula was inside because the accessibility of it was not great. I loved the original concept of these like beautiful little apothecary jars on your vanity, but they've made a major upgrade with these new components and I think that they would look lovely on anybody's desk. They have their gorgeous new logo on it, which I think is really pretty. They're just more user friendly and they still maintain the ethos of the brand and the look of the brand that I think they wanna communicate. So to me, it's a win-win. Anyway, I wanna use these, but I don't just wanna use these because I'm somewhat of a maximalist. And I pulled out a couple of special shades that I wanna pair with it. I also have a little Vizart matte palette with me that I'm gonna to use to help build the look. So I pulled out Vermilion. This is a Cleona Cosmetics shadow. You can see it kind of shifts from gold to pink. This is a really pretty shade. Definitely makes me think of summer. And it's one that I haven't really used much. I realized when I reorganized my singles that this was, a, I was like, wait, what, what, what color is that? Where did that come from? I don't know what that is. And so I was like, that's perfect. Let's pull that out and play with that today. I also have, so that's a more expensive shade. I have a less expensive shade that's in a similar vein and very pretty that I've played around with recently. This is from Looksy Beauty. This is red hot. I cannot remember which release this was from. You can see kind of similar shifts in it from gold to pink, but this is much more of a, like a toppery shade, you know, for sparkle that I think is really, really pretty. And I think this will amp up the glow and the sparkle of the vermilion shade and they pair well together. I haven't tried this before. We're layering a lot of things that I've never layered together. So if it goes horribly awry, then we gave it our best shot, um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Use those shades mixed together with some, maybe some mattes from this uh, Vizart mini palette. This is their uh, Petite's Matte Neutral palette. Love the tones in this, really, really great. Anyway, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna zoom you in. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Ah, so good. Okay, where were we? I don't think I've even asked you guys how you're doing. I know that you can't answer me live right now, but in the comments, how are you? How are you doing? How's life? I'm actually better than I've been in a little bit. I feel like I went, <laughs> I went a while where I was like not doing so hot, to be honest. And you know, I don't want to jinx it. I'm kind of, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. Sorry, I have to find a brush. Give me one second. So they came out with this brush, has their little name on it. It's a dense domed brush, very soft, and obviously intended to pair super nicely with their revised components. So I did want to try that out and use it today. I'm dipping into Half-Life first. This picks up quite a bit of product. I have used it before. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go in on the outer and inner corners and layer up this as more of like a base smoky shade. The shade is so, so freaking pretty. I know it's like a basic color, but you if you can do these basic colors really beautifully and elegantly, I'm sold. And Ritual Defeat knocked Half Light out of the park. Out of the park. It's so good. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm doing pretty well, uh, all things considered. It's been like a rough eight months. <laughs> I don't know, it just feels like calamity after calamity has befallen our household. But it's getting better, and I think a lot of that has to do with just being able to be outside again. That does amazing things for my mood, and one of the biggest reasons that I envisioned moving here was gonna be really positive was that we would have space to live outside more than we ever did. And we've been working on our garden, which is so satisfying and so exciting. I've been sharing a little bit about it on um, Instagram. So if you follow me there, you probably have seen some of those updates, but we have been just slowly starting to build out um, a much bigger like raised bed, fenced in garden area where we're growing 
everything under the sun. We have another fenced in area where we're growing tomatoes and peppers. Um, We have flowers everywhere. Like it is just garden heaven right now. I feel like at our old house, my husband did a lot of the gardening, you know, and I just kind of was like along for the ride, but there's so much to do here that I've had to get more involved. And it's been, it's been amazing. Like I'm so happy that I'm much more involved and invested in actually like doing the work together. Like we've been building raised beds together. We've been planning the garden together we've been you know i i put stones into the garden myself like i was a freaking mason (laughs) it was so cool um i mean it wasn't really a stone mason i was just casually like putting in some stones in the dirt it was really really cool that that's awesome there's been some other positive things that have happened too but there's still like some things that are on our plates right now that are stressing us out and making you know that little bit of that shadowy cloud kind of come in, but I've been really, really trying my damnedest, my damnedest to uh, stay positive. Also allow myself to be like, it's okay if something sucks right now. Doesn't mean it's gonna be that way forever. It doesn't mean you won't figure out a way forward, but generally just the change in the seasons has made a huge difference in how I feel. For me, I'm ready. I'm ready for summer, I'm ready to, Get my ass to a pool somewhere, somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Ready? Oh, I think I'm. I think I want to get us a slip and slide. <laughs> do we think a two and a half year old will enjoy a slip and slide? What do we think? Okay, so that's half light. I think now let's go in with a little bit of viscera. Again, these are kind of laying the groundwork for the sparkly shades that we're gonna add. And then if I wanna add more depth of matte color, I can dip into those Vizart shades. Edge in here and just kind of layer it on top of half light. But I'm gonna let half light live in the corner. I don't want viscera to go all the way there. A lot of you guys are also watching Succession, which is literally ending tomorrow. I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. (laughs) It really is like my favorite show (laughs) in that kind of category, in that like comedy drama category. It's like my favorite. And I just get such satisfaction out of watching it on Sundays. And I'm very sad that it's ending. Not ready, not ready, not ready. And so I just, I'm like trying to, trying to get excited for the finale, but I'm also just like, I'm like legit, just not, not ready. But I think that this season, they've done an amazing job of creating chaos and surprising you. And I think that they're going out on a high note. So that's, that's really good. And I think that's what their goal was. But I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss the show so much when it ends. I've also been watching Ted Lasso's new season. Let me tell you though, I'm not a big fan. I really liked the show in their first season. I found it enjoyable, but Alex compared it to a Christian show that is okay with cursing and I can't get that out of my head. It's like on a very special episode of Ted Lasso, we address sexting. Like, it's just a little too saccharine for me. I don't know what happened to the comedy of it. I'm still watching it because at this point, I'm, I guess I'm invested enough in the characters that I kind of still care a little bit, but they did such weird stuff with Nate's character. Some of the episodes, Ted's not even in. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sure that it's, it's really my cup of tea. I wish that it was funnier. I just wish it was funnier. Like it was funny, or at least I I remember it being funnier. They kind of lost me. All right, I'm adding a little bit of viscera under my eyes. Like I'm not making any harsh lines. I'm not making any big decisions. I'm just (laughs) blending. So now I'm gonna go in and try to use some of Vermilion, that Cleona shade in the middle. Looks like it's pretty pigmented. So I think it will look good. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I think this is gonna work exactly how I thought it would, which never happens. 
So that's good. Yeah, that's really pretty. I don't have any primer on, but of course, if you're someone that's like, I have to have primer on my eyes, I don't want this to break up, or it's not going to look good on me without primer, put down primer. I don't know. I haven't played around with primer and um, those uh, Ritual Defeat shades yet, so I don't know how they will work together, but I'm sure it would probably be fine. So I'm going to add a little more vermilion, and then I'm going to go in and add Red Hot over the top. Because while I really love the grungy smokiness of the Ritual Defeat shades, I just want maybe like a tiny, tiny bit more definition. But first I'm going to go in over the top of Vermilion and I'm going to use Red Hot. Red Hot is kind of a more glittery version of Vermilion. They're very similar in shift and tone, but I wanted a little bit more sparkle. And I thought, yes, these two will pair really well together. But I wanted the base pigment from Vermilion. So just blend that out a little bit. I think I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna bring out this Vizart palette. I'm gonna take that, this like dark, this one, this dark brown shade. Just tap that on the outer corner just to give a little bit more smoky depth. These Vizart shades, I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram the other day, are basically my holy grail matte eyeshadows. I can get them to do whatever I want, however I want. They're pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented, that they're not approachable. They are smooth and blendable. They are just my favorite matte shade formula. And I, at this point, have tried quite a few brands and, and different formulas. Like, there are other ones that I like too. I'm not saying this is the only one that I like. Definitely is not, but this is my favorite. I feel like I'm in safe hands when I'm using these Vizart matte shades. So, and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna also take a little bit of this more orangey red, and I'm gonna layer that too. Now, now the question becomes, do I add liner or not? Why not? Just add some liner. I'm gonna go in with my trusted M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner. This is the brush tip. It's really hard for me to talk while I'm doing this, so I'll probably just fast forward you through this application. not even <laughs> those are not even i thought i would zoom you out at this juncture so we can see more of the how the look is looking in the context of my full face it is time for mascara now i am in a weird mascara place right now i basically got a new mascara at the not at the behest but at the recommendation of lovely tom hope mess tom hmt barbara papa <laughs> For those of you who know, Tom really loves the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. By the way, this tube, I don't think the camera will really show you. This tube is huge. This tube is thick. This tube is massive. And the brush is also massive. Like this is a big, big brush. This is my feelings about this mascara. You can tell I'm like not totally over the moon. I like how it makes my lashes look. It does give me a dramatic lash, which I think is going to pair really well with this look today. So I am gonna put it on. But because the brush is so big and the formula is on the wetter side, it is a little harder for me to apply without getting it kind of all over. And when I take it off at night, and this is just like a personal preference, it is a lot more messy to remove. I have like those raccoon eyes when I take it off at night that I just don't get when I remove other mascaras that I have in my current collection. So it's not that I don't like how it looks, but it's probably, I, I don't know that I would put it up there with like my personal favorite mascaras. It is serving its purpose. I'm just saying that it's not necessarily gonna rank up there with like my tops. What I also did though, is I revisited this tube of Marc Jacobs mascara. Now, Marc Jacobs Beauty does not currently exist but I heard it's coming back <laughs> because on the, uh, you know, makeup radar Instagram, po you know, pages where it's like posting about new releases and things, there was some web, I don't know if it's Nordstrom's or Neiman Marcus, somewhere it was like coming soon, Marc Jacobs Beauty. And I was like, oh my God, if 
this comes back, I'm gonna be so happy. I actually, there were quite a few things that I really liked from Marc Jacobs Beauty, and I was sad when I heard that they were going away. They made some of my favorite eyeliners. This mascara, I totally forgot how much I loved this mascara, and I still, what I realized is that the, the tube is still going strong. This is called the Blacker at Lashed Lifting and Volumizing Mascara, and this is, this is hot. This is good mascara. I really, really like it, so, if Marc Jacobs Beauty does return, I really hope that they bring back some version of this mascara because I really do quite enjoy it and I forgot about how much I liked it. Um, the last mascara update I have, I didn't realize I had so many mascara updates, is just on my Tower 28 Beauty mascaras, the Make Waves ones. It's still a go-to, but much like a lot of other people have, have noted, um, this mascara will go very quickly from amazing and great to unusable. It just, like all of a sudden, you'll go to use it one day and it's like, nope, I don't wanna be a mascara anymore. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm dried out and I'm done. And it's doing that much faster than any of the other mascaras that are in my current rotation. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I don't think it's going to deter me from using and loving the mascara because it's just something that I know now about it, but it was something that I didn't realize until I'd been using them for a while, just like how quickly it'll go from great to not great. So that's my mascara update. Hoping Marc Jacobs comes back with their mascara because it's great. Important to know about the Make Waves. Tower 28 one and my mixed feelings on Lash Clash, which is what I'm gonna use today, just cause I want some bomb ass lashes. Um, but first I'm gonna use my Syrah eyelash curler to curl. Oh my God, everybody. So it's about to be Memorial Day weekend and everybody and their mother is having a sale right now. And I have to admit, I, I don't normally fall prey to sales because I know that there will always be more sales and there will always be things that I want and that's never gonna change. And like, I try really, really hard not to get caught up in it, but it I have something about this particular Memorial Day sale with all of the brands that I've been eyeing things that are on my wish list has gotten to me a, li a little tiny bit. I'm like, ooh, there are so many things that I would love to like pull the trigger on, but I'm not, I'm not. The only thing that I did allow myself to do was VizArt is having a sale and I just talked about how much I love their mattes and I have been eyeing their Brights palette, their like rainbow Brights palette or whatever for quite a long time because I don't have any of those kinds of shades like the matte bright shades and even though I know that I'm not gonna reach for them all the time, I want a solid rainbow palette in my collection to use when I want to use it to like amplify a look. Knowing how I feel about the formula from Vizart, I'm like, this is the one, this is the one that I want. I know everybody talks about the Blend Bunny one. I'm sure it's great. I just, I really like Vizart. That's the one I want. And it was on sale. So I bit the bullet and I bought it. Okay, <sighs> deep breath. Eyes are done. I need a sip of coffee. That was like very involved. Not product placement, just really need coffee. I have these um, Jason Wu Beauty blush trios. I have two of them that are really pretty. And there is a very summery one called, um, I think it's called Saint Tropez. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get that. Hold on a second. Jason Wu Beauty blush trio. This is Saint Tropez, or I think it's called ba Babe from Saint Tropez. So I think I wanna mix a little bit of that very bright shade with some of these more muted shades, do a little do a little blush draping kind of thing. See how it goes. I'm gonna start with like kind of just tapping these two and I'm gonna start pretty high and then I'm gonna use that brightest shade over here. So let's kind of build from the hairline down. Really like these these blush trios. I, um, I've been so in love with my Make Beauty powder blushes that I have honestly had to force myself to reach for anything else. And then when I want a cream blush, I really just use Phytosurgeons. So between those two, I, I have a lot of neglected products in my arsenal. These Jason Wu Beauty trios are really, really pretty. I've had them for a while. Also a really nice travel product. That's actually the main reason why I've been wanting that Hindash Butopsy palette for a long time. Not only because it's so aesthetically pretty and I just like how it looks, but also because I'm like, well, this would be the perfect 
palette to travel with. Again, not that I'm doing so much traveling, I'm not, but it has so, it has like everything you need in it, you know, from a face perspective that, and it's all in one little compact palette. So that really appeals to me, but I haven't bit the bullet on that. Now I'm going in with just kind of like dotting that vibrant shade on the apple of my cheek. And I think actually it's looking like in person, it's a little more heavy than on camera. I think it's looking probably pretty, not like super duper heavy. All that's left is lips. I'm going slightly rogue here. I knew I wanted to do a red, but I have two reds that are on the total opposite spectrum. So I have a luxury red orange lipstick. This is a Tom Ford lipstick. These lipsticks are stupid expensive. I only have one. This is the shade Wild Ginger. I've had this lipstick, which was gifted to me forever. It still has that like really beautiful vanilla scent to it. On the other end of the spectrum, I have Glaring Red, which is a Revlon lipstick. Um, this one's actually, the tube is kind of gross and sticky. I don't know why. This is in their super lustrous, super lustrous shine formula. And it has this like very sexy looking bullet. So this is super shiny. And the Tom Ford lipstick, I don't really remember. It's like, I think it's a satin formula. So this is, this is definitely gonna be less long wearing, more glowy, shiny. And this is gonna be a little bit matter satin formula. And I think comparatively, these are very similar in tone, but the wild ginger is definitely a little more orange while glaring red is a little more red. I wish I could pull you right now for what to choose, but I think as much as I'm like tempted to use the Tom Ford one, I think I'm gonna try to use this Revlon one. Sometimes it's fun to weave in some drugstore. So let's, let's give it a shot. All right. I mean, this is like a slide off your lips formula. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying like, know what you're getting yourself into. This is not, this is like a, it's like a gloss in a bullet form format. This one has the same scent. I, I'm just realizing that now. I thought it was just the Tom Ford. This one literally has the same, the same scent. <laughs> Whoa, look at how red that is. Okay, I need to clean up. Glaring red for sure. Ooh, what do we think? Look how glossy, okay. You guys, you know what? I mean, yes, this is gonna slide right off my face, but like, look how good that looks. <sighs> Don't let, let's, not, let's not get me started on talking about hair because that's, that's just a road to nowhere. Wait, I totally forgot. There was one more thing I wanted, shit. There was one more thing I wanted to do. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, hold on. I think I can still do it, hold on. I've been wanting to try to use this. Um, this is a Danessa Myricks beauty product. It's a multi-chrome pigment and let me see if I can get it. Twin Flames. So she came out with these a while ago. There's a, a multitude of shades. They're very pretty. And I have the shade Lust. And again, I've just been trying to like figure out when I want to use it so that I get more use out of it because it is very pretty and it's just like sitting on the shelf and it's very sad. Okay, so you see that? shift there it goes from like this very pretty orangey red to kind of a yellowish goldish green it's just like that's kind of my one of my favorite it's like one of my favorite kinds of shifting colors and because it has that like shifting red orange in it i thought oh yes that'll be perfect but i'm gonna take a brush this is the moment when the whole look comes together <gasps> You see that? Okay. Yeah, super happy I did that. Wow, imagine if I'd forgotten. How sad would that have been? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, this is working perfectly. That is so pretty. Yeah, Lust is gorgeous. Like, let's just be real. Sometimes a liquid shadow does just hit it. Hit it and quit it. And that's, I think what this is doing right now. Okay, that's really, really pretty. And it's added a whole new magical layer to the look. I love it. Okay, I'm really happy that I remembered that that's something that I wanted to do. <laughs> I had forgotten. I had forgotten and that would have been sad. One more time. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. One more time. Let's do this one more time. Okay, okay. So here we are. We have made it to the end of this very long and rambling 
summer heat look slash tutorial where I did in fact use all of the things that I set out to use. So I'm very happy with that. And I'm, I'm a little bit shook by how much I really like this Revlon lipstick. I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot that I had it. I totally forgot what it felt like. It's a beautiful glossy lipstick. Um, I'm happy that I got to play around a little bit more with those Ritual Defi shades. They are beautiful, man. And I really love how they just created this very effortlessly grungy, smoky base to the whole look. And I was happy to be able to pair Cleona's Vermilion with Luxie Beauty's Red Hot because they, they also paired together so well. And I'm glad that I remembered to use my Twin Flames because that worked out really well as well. So all things are great. I hope you had fun watching this and I really enjoyed putting this look together. This is gonna be my official kickoff to summer. It's Memorial Day weekend. Let's, let's get out, let's get in the sun, let's get some fresh air and let's get going. Let's do it, let's do it together. I hope you're doing well. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And um, thanks so much for joining me. Definitely give this video a like before you leave it. And I would love to have you subscribe so that you can hang out with me in future videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.